Hello everyone, this is Amin and welcome to another new video. Today we're going to paint some fruit with gosh. I'm not going to use this sketchbook but I'm going to paint it on the watercolor painting pads. Um, it is 220 GSM and it is it was originally A4 size but I cut it into half so they are to A5 sized paper. Before filming this video, I actually practiced some paintings on my sketchbook because I feel like I feel nervous and make more mistakes than usual when I started recording as well as I wanted to experiment new techniques to develop my art style. So today I'm excited to show my painting process. First, I'm going to draw an initial sketch with the red color pencil very lightly. I'm sure it won't be very visible when I do underpainting, but it is very helpful to understand what colors you want to add in a specific position. For the underpainting color, I'm going to mix lake blue, rema yellow, and titanium white. And then I'm going to mix vermilion and lemon yellow for the foundation of peach color. Initially, I put more of vermilion than lemon yellow, but now I'm going to use more lemon yellow and a bit of titanium white to find a bit of uh, brightness. Continually, I keep mixing and adjusting with vermilion, lemon yellow, deep red, and titanium white for shading and to make a, like a spheres. Before we paint leaves and the branches, I'm going to paint some clouds first. So I'm going to use a lot of white and teeny teeny tiny bit of lake blue. And then after I started painting leaves, but soon I was super regretful because in the photo that I was referencing to, um, the branches were covered by a lot of leaves. So soon I started drawing painting branches and I mixed rosy and earth yellow 
and a little bit of burnt umber. In the video, the color looked a little darker than looking in real life. So actually, over the colors are really brighter than the video. For the lemon, I initially used the lemon yellow, grass green, and the white, and then after I mixed, gradually mixed medium yellow and the vermilion, and then for the last I used violet. I just keep using those colors and keep adjusting the amount of the each color. 